Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide And we've got another Game Pass classic in the terms of Kill It With Fire An almighty satisfying game developed by Casey Donnerland Games Published by Tiny Build and it's usually available to buy for just $12.49 But as I mentioned, it's free if you have Xbox Game Pass So, what you waiting, what you waiting for? So this does what it says in the tin this isn't only a squish the spider game, it's also a blow up the spider, burn the spider, rip in half the spider game, and a lot more. Now if a spider could talk like a human, I have no doubt it would be another species to get easily offended by everything, since all we do is crush them most of the time. Ugh, awkward. Now achievements wise, nothing is missable or indeed too difficult to obtain, but there are quite a few collectibles in terms of 8 or 9 batteries to find every level, tracker upgrades, upgrades and equipment, so make sure you're paying close attention, but even if you miss anything, everything that you do pick up or do, uh, it basically saves, so resetting a level doesn't affect a thing. There are a few missables, but again, they're easily obtained and if anything, it may just be the challenges you have to replay once or twice to get a feel or to, to get a feel for them, basically. So, otherwise this is a fun game, we can get this done in around 3 to 4, maybe even 5 hours, depending on the challenges for you, etc. So, with that being said then, let us begin. So as we begin, press the B button to crouch, the A button to jump, the Y button to have a look in your inventory, and the X button to pick things up and drop. And if you pick things up, you can throw them with the right trigger button. So. El Spiderini is going to nip in here, and what we're going to do is take the clipboard right in front of us, and what we're going to do is squish that first spider, and again we do that by pressing the right trigger, the RT button, or the R2 if you're on PlayStation, uh, for some reason he decided to hide from me for ages, but there he is, give him a squish, and we're going to get our first achievement straight away, and that is hitting the piano a few times for the ragtime achievement. This is basically like listening to... Um, Basically most music these days, including Cardi B and crap like that. Uh, anyway, head over to this um, door right here, the opening the closet door, pressing the X button. The achievement didn't unlock for me, by the way. Uh, it already unlocked for me, that's why you didn't uh, see it appear on screen. Grabbing the tracker, you can get that up by pressing the left trigger button. And when it goes nuts, that means there is a spider close by. And we'll be doing some upgrades a bit uh, more for that later on. So... We can't open up every door, what we have to do is kill a certain amount of spiders to get actually into places. So, to get into the bathroom door, we need to kill four spiders. And, you know, it's just a case of walking around and trying to find some. But we can get our first upgrade now, it's a, uh, by the TV in this uh, left side cabinet. Like a little present, we get a protein shake for our steroid infused uh, rages, which is actually pretty much what this game is about. Uh, you're on the protein shakes, you're on the steroids, and you're hella paranoid about all um, <laughs> spiders. And that's why we go over the top of them. <clears throat> so, pick up these books here, that is one of the objectives that we need to do. Uh, pick up the book, eventually. Oh, what a throw! And then <laughs> we can, uh, yeah, so that objective is now complete. God, I am such a baseball star. Yeah, just have a look for any spiders. Again, obviously, spiders are random douchebags, so they are going to appear in random places for you. But when you kill four, the bathroom will now unlock. As you can see. So, as you can see there, on the clipboard, you've still got three question marks. The, the objectives you find on a little piece of paper. Uh, but if you pick up this hairspray, this means if you press the right trigger, as you can see, hairspray turns into fire bombs, which is pretty cute. So, uh, we need to. F <laughs> that is our objective complete. Now, just get warmed up and just basically burn the crap out of everything. This is where the Ultima, the Ultimate Paranoia, the steroid infused protein shaped head paranoia comes into it. I don't know why it's um, steroid infused paranoia, but it just is now with the protein shake, etc. So, when we do all objectives, that is when we can do the challenge. So, if we just head over here to this little uh, cabinet. Again, as soon as you do a certain amount of objectives, you'll see a lot of these uh, doors and everything. As soon as you do a certain amount, that is when you can open it up and get whatever's behind it. So that is the revolver. Now, what we can do, we basically have to... If you press the X button to start the challenge, we need to kill uh, five spiders without reloading once. So you can miss the bullet once. Now, 
for me, what I would do is just really take your time. You've got a minute, wait until it stops. Don't do what I do and just um, fire off the gun willy, penis, nilly, uh, because it just won't work. So keep following it and then just make sure you've got the target absolutely spot on before you give it the big old whack. Uh, even if you do end up failing it, you can just reset it as many times as you want, but you know, gets annoying having to restart all the time. So that is just the best advice I can give there. You have a minute. Always have a minute in every challenge you do. Um, so that will be that. So that is the first level done. We've only got eight levels. Again, the video is around two hours long, but for why I'm saying it might be a little bit longer for you. It, again, just depends on these challenges because that one took me about four or five attempts with incredible frustration in the end. So <laughs> life uh, wasn't good, no. But here we go then. So after every mission, you can um, have a look at the upgrades and uh, you have a certain amount of points you can put into certain upgrades. Uh, but we don't have anything too specifically good yet. So what we need to do here, what we're going to do then is just kill a bunch of little white goddamn blech, spiders. And I say blech, spiders because they move quick as hell. So, um, there they are. Look, they look like ghost spiders sent from the depths of hell. There you go. So, a couple of them are going to be on the shelf. Um, again, they're going to be pretty much in random locations, but we need to kill, I believe, four? Yes, we need to kill at least four. So, just keep having a look around for now. Um, we're going to shut some picture frames in mid. Oh, hey, that looks like uh, Chad. Hey, Chad. That's a great picture of your little pubic beard. I want to shave it off. Oh, well, there was the other one anyway, <laughs> behind Virgin Chad. So, unlock the bedroom. Now, let's get our buns in, huns. There we go. So, first thing we're going to do underneath the bed is where we're going to pick up the tracker upgrade. Now, after this mission, I would highly advise putting this spider on, uh, as it basically tells you where the spiders actually are. So, here is the first battery then, like I said, it's about 7, 8 or 9 in each level, so we need to be making sure that we are grabbing every battery for an achievement later on. Um, again, we, we're obviously going to be picking up some bullets as well for our revolver. And basically, any time you kill a spider, we're going to need to kill it anyway, um, because we need to kill a certain amount of spiders, like I said, to get into a whole bunch of crap doors, or regular doors. It can be any door you want it to be. Uh, but we do need to kill a certain amount of spiders, and they are going to be obviously in random locations, so, you know, get your spider hunting game eyes on, boys. And if it just makes it easier, then just burn the crap out of everything. But remember, you've only got a certain amount of ammo in which to do that, so, yeah. Definitely, I highly recommend using your tracker again, pressing the left trigger. And, by the way, it's the right bumper if you want to... Um, move through your inventory quickly and then press up on the d-pad if you want to get to your clipboard quickly So as soon as we kill six of these little ass buggery things, let's get into the bathroom Looks clean. There's no poop on the floor. Thank God and Well, what are we gonna do? We're gonna open up this cupboard right here and We're gonna pick up some more ammo for our fire Bernie Bernie extremely paranoia Bernie stuff and what we're gonna do is uh, I thought there was something behind that. Oh, hello. Now, these, as soon as these sort of black and red spiders die, they're going to actually pop off more of the spiderlings, as they call the little white spiders. So as soon as you kill one of them, then they will pop off more. So it's always worth just killing the crap out of every one of them. Spawn of Evil is complete, and that is before killing the ten spiderlings, which, again, that'll come naturally anyway, so don't worry your black and red spider face about it. Right, don't know what I'm doing there. We actually just need to get into the master bedroom here. Oh, we've unlocked the nightstand as well. Well, I did, why is this like currency, by the way? If you kill a certain amount, <laughs> if you kill a certain amount of spiders, that is when you can get into my drawers, boy. Okay, so this is the nightstand we're talking about. So you can open it now if you want, but we'll come back to it a little bit later on. A few things we're going to grab first. There will be a spider. A couple of spiders. You can just hear them as well. But pick up these cheese puffs. This is for new equipment. Open up the drawer here. Grab the next battery. That is battery number two. Uh, for some reason, I forgot how to play the game. 
And these spiders are strong as hell as well, so they can literally render your genitals useless within 20 seconds, which... I mean, mine don't get used anyway. Anyway, on to the... That's, trust me, that's for another story for another day. Um, you don't need to pick up those cans. Those <laughs> awfully hidden cans of complete 15-year-old beer. Grab the key, head back into the bedroom, and we're actually going to unlock the um, master closet. Check for skeletons, take a look in there, grab the shotgun, bam, bam. And again, take a look in all the drawers, because there may be a spider for you to kill. There's a couple. Now, one of these is what uh, the double trouble. We actually need to kill two spiders um, with one shot, which shouldn't be too much trouble with the shotgun. Uh, but again, you just need to be careful, make sure that they are close together. And there should be nothing underneath there, so... As we come out of the bedroom, head directly in front of us, and we can now unlock the study as long as you got 15 spider kills. The fallout currency, I, I prefer the fallout currency of bottle caps, to be honest, than killed spiders. A lot less effort has to go into it. Uh, pick up this next piece of paper to get this new objective, and have a look in the bin. There is going to be your third out of four batteries, or seven batteries. Take a look to the left of this desk for another two batteries, and there is actually another one. Smash this spider. Right, this is where I get double trouble, so wait until two spiders are just nipping over here. And yeah, I don't know if I got kind of lucky with that one or anything, but that is what you need to do. But again, when we uh, start, the, should be able to start the challenge. There would be plenty of spiderlings anyway for us to be able to get that. Um, there is a battery underneath the pillow in that room as well, but and the exit is there as well. But of course, we're not going for the exit yet. Ugh, oh, bananas. I hope next time you eat a banana, they've got that, um, you know, those little spider babies, and when you're eating it, it pops off in your mouth. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, anyway. So, we're just going to go ahead and smash now these 10 frames. Uh, you actually need to hear the glass smashing, so you'll have two out there. You'll have another one in here, pregnant lady. Goodbye, pregnant lady. Uh, one on top of this bed we can smash. That's pretty nice. We're going to smash grandma right in the nugget. Sorry, Granny, you are... Well, rest in peace, Granny. You gorgeous piece of crumpet, you. And that is pretty much everything for this room. Now we can head into the... I think there's about 12 or 13 frames to smash anyway, so plenty to go along. There is one here. The same woman, for some reason. God, she's popular in this house. Why? I don't know. There's another three on this wall by the exit. Big flamingo. And we've got... We've got Virgin Tom right here as well, so he just looks like a Tom. Sorry to all Toms. Another flamingo picture. God, that's a very popular picture. And then we've got Virgin Douchebag right there as well. So now we've only got one <laughs> objective. We should only have one objective left. And that is for discovering the hidden room. Uh, grab the next battery. That should be six out of seven right here underneath this pillow. And then if we go to this bookcase in the same room, to, uh, pull the same book that I have on the second shelf. That is to get in the objective complete. Happy days. So, we can open up the safe. Sadly, we're not going to take the money, but we're going to take everything off the bottom shelf. So, a bunch of bullets, the new upgrade, which is cargo shorts, and the seventh out of seven batteries you should now be on. Um, go ahead, grab the C4 as well. Sadly, though, don't take the jewels, the money, and everything. We're actually going to burn the money. Um, proper Joker from the 2008 Batman film style. Burn, baby, burn. And really, that brings an incredible tear to my eye. What kind of goddamn maniac will burn money? <laughs> Only those, you know, rich dude, you know, rich douchebags, you know. Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk. They can do it without tearing up. We can't do that. We don't have that luxury, I'm afraid. Anyway, when you've burned it, sending a message, proper Joker style, will be unlocked. And then we can just start the challenge. We just need to get 10 shotgun kills in one minute. Now, every time a challenge does start, a lot more spiders do drop. But, of course, it's just up to you. Uh, in you just got to find the spiders. That's all you got to do. So, again, take your time. If you can, try and group two spiders together to make it a little bit easier for you. If not, don't worry about it. If, again, if you fail, just keep restarting it. you got this, baby. Hooray! 
Okay, so with that one then, we can just head to the exit. And that's the second level done already. Now, they should have really put a challenge in here. You know when you got the protein shake, first of all? Nobody survives the protein shake shit. No one. Not, no man, no animal can survive a protein shake shit. So, they should have said, uh, you know, protein shake dump on five spiders. That would have been deadly. So, anyway, let's move on then to domestic duties. And yes, I've killed many a people. My daughter has died many a times from my protein shake farts, unfortunately. So, as we begin, we're going to grab two of the plates, uh, two of the uh, pizza papers for new objectives. And the first one is to, again, this is just pure rich style douchebaggery where we can happily just chuck all the food out the fridge. Yeah, because why not? Again, this one brings a massive tear to my eye and a massive tear to my big chunky gut as well. So, yeah, just, again, kill all the spiders. As soon as you see a bunch of spiders, kill them. Um, otherwise, we're just going to um, tear up while we get rid of all the fridge, the food out of the fridge. Le cry. Hello darkness, my old friend. I'll come and eat you again. Ah, oh, god damn it, spider! You just—you ruined my emotional moment. You goddamn ass face. <laughs> anyway, we have sung the emotional song of clearing out the fridge. Now, what we're gonna do is actually smash all the dishes. This is for um, a miserable achievement called Spick and Span. So, in the dishwasher on the left here, just get rid of this uh, coffee jar or whatever the hell that is. We need to need to be smashing every single one. Now, the easiest way I would do it, instead of wasting all our bullets, is just pick it up with the X button and then throw it with the RT button. It smashes them immediately so it can get this bit done a bit quicker. So, you know, rather than waste all your bullets and try and hit it with a folder that we can't reach or whatever. But you need to make sure everything's smashed in there. Or everything's smashed in the um, sink here as well. I mean, this is, th this would be someone who has got incredible arachnophobia. Uh, smash all the cups here um, in these two cupboards as well. But yeah, this would be, oh yeah, i just seen a little spider, so I decided to destroy the whole house. Because, uh, you know, skirt and stuff. Which, I mean, the, the, if every time you kill them, they uh, bring out green glue, glue, goo, then yeah, you'd understand that. So we've got that objective complete through the dishes. Again, smash any spiders that you see. Um, but again, for the spick and span, we need to destroy every single dish. So they are on the cupboard, just next to us there. Bunch of plates. Whack that out of the way again. X and RT to smash them quicker. There we go. So again, at this point, I am just looking for the uh, next spider, but there is a battery on the floor. It basically came out of this bin, so make sure to pick up this first battery out of eight, and it came out of that bin right there. Um, again, now, this is why I said in the first mission to, or the second mission, to put the spider, um, the basically the spider radar, uh, radar on. Sorry, I don't even know what the hell it, <laughs> don't even know what the hell it says. Basically, with that, you can just see on it's like a little mini map, and you can see the red dots where the spiders actually are, so you don't have to guess around as much. So, just in this third drawer is going to be the next battery, the second battery. So, make sure to be picking that one up again at the minute. Just having a check around, we've got Pizza Virgin right there. Why does everyone look so intense when taking a picture? Should always be one of those red jumping spiders. There is an achievement as well for killing a spider mid-jump. The easiest way we can do that is with fire, as you'll be able to see uh, a lot later on, rather than trying to hit it or trying to shoot it in mid-air. It's just a bit trickier. So, for hardcore, 
hardcore. But we have finally unlocked the oven. Again, the follow bottle caps or killing spiders just to be able to unlock an oven. It, it, it defies logic. But as soon as we have four deaths on our hands, which I counted more than four, but whatever. Uh, have a look in the microwave here as well, and that should be battery three out of eight. Grab a frying pan. This is a very good piece of equipment, actually. A lot better than your pathetic, floppy, cardboarded piece of crap. Um, so for now, what we could do then is just... Uh, I don't think there's anything else left to do. We're just trying to find the next spider in order to go into the laundry room. Or the next food room. Or the whatever the hell it's called. I don't know. Americans and British are totally different. But British people win. <laughs> Just as I'm getting off subject, there is the fourth out of eight batteries there as well on the chair to collect. Who is ordering, by the way, a full pizza and leaving it? I am I'm so unhappy right now. So the, this last spider for me was just behind this uh, picture frame after honestly ages of freaking looking. Complete, <laughs> complete annoyance took over my face. But there we go. Killed the spider. Now we can finally get into the next room which is called the what but what do you call it let's just just take a look to me it's just a laundry room it is a laundry room yeah yeah other people call it something different so there's a red jumping spider here now for me what i would do is get your fire out and then just keep uh keep spamming the fire every now and again and then eventually as soon as this spider jumps I, uh, it, it, it'll work for you. It should work for you as long as you get him fired up. Um, trying to shoot him like that just didn't work, so. Right, again, obviously what we need to do is just kill as many spiders as we can. There is a present in the washing machine. Who the hell's putting a present in the washing machine? I, very weird families we've, uh, coming into. Very weird houses. But we need to get into the garage as well. But there are two things that we can grab. New flavours. Grab the paper here for a new objective, and then on the floor, we've got two flavors to grab. Now, what you will see is... Oh, actually, smash the window first, sorry, and then shoot this plate. This is the final one for the spick and span, with two lonely sausages. Well, not anymore. Nice barbecue, but as long as you've smashed every plate in the kitchen, and that plate there, that is one that is always easily missed, you should get that achievement. So grab this bouncy chocolate, and grab this invisible ranch. So there should be four packets, just grab them all, ignore this achievement, you will not get this yet. Um, this was honestly me forgetting it, and it was quite poor editing as well, so apologies about this. But make sure you grab the bouncy chocolate and the invisible flavour the invisible ranch flavor there as well so that should be two flavors um that you have just picked up again apologies that it was quite quick and that it was quite poorly edited but i did miss the invisible ranch one the first time so in the bottom right hand corner right here next to the washing machine as well is battery five out of eight so as you can see this is my original run through and on the bottom of the shelf you can see the invisible ranch still there which i missed quite stupidly Again, as soon as you've got enough spiders and we're all good. Keep smashing them, you might as well, because you need so many more for the exit as well. Uh, yep. Uh, but for now, we have unlocked the garage, so we can now get our ass in there. Again, few things to do. So, grab the paper, grab the objective paper off the board. Cleaning the garage is a lot easier than you think it is. Um, so, first thing that we're going to be doing is heading over here and grabbing this objective. That's for organizing the tools. And again, just whapping out your insane ability to just destroy every spider that you can. Uh, we will grab that. Thank you, Mr. Spider. That's the only good thing you've done in your lifetime, apart from annoy people. So, what we're going to do is feed a couple of spiders. That is with your cheese puffs. So, again, if you don't have it in your inventory, press the Y button. And then you'll be able to press the X button to assign it somewhere. Give it a throw with the right bumper, that uh, right trigger. And that will uh, kill these spiders. We actually need to kill six of these jumping spiders as well. So, if you can't find them, like I said, it's always worth using one of your... I love cheesy puffs. We love cheesy puffs. If we didn't eat cheesy poots, we'd be lame. And there we go. Make new friends. That objective is complete. That is for killing six of those weird-ass spiders. 
Like, normal spiders are creepy enough, but when they start jumping at you, that is actually when you are allowed to crap your pants. That's just allowed. Uh, but we've unlocked a few things here, cabinets, etc. So now we can start grabbing a few more things. Um, the first thing we are going to do, actually, is clean the garage. And to do that, all we need to do is shoot these red barrels. Bam! You know, it would, of course, help if I wasn't such a pathetic uh, shot. And you can't chuck cheesy poofs at... Um, at a barrel because it doesn't explode so <laughs> apart from that we are good to go right so grab all of the uh, bullets from underneath there another spider for us to destroy and there's going to be another two of these batteries should be now six and seven batteries in this toolbox and then that's what we're going to do now we're going to start organizing the toolbox so they're not uh, too spread out they're really not that difficult so we've got another two screwdrivers here Seen the drill on the left hand side of the table. So pop those two screwdrivers up. There is a file right in the wheelbarrow, so whap that up. Saw so, directly in front of us, check that on as well. If we have a look just underneath us, that is the, ah uh, oh, crap, uh, the um, sorry boy. Yeah, sorry boy will do. Big chunky spiders there. Give me it. Die, die, die. I hit you. I hate your parents, and I hate your kids. Grab the knife off the shelf as well, <laughs> by the way. I'm talking about spiders, by the way. I don't have a grudge against anyone's kids or anything. Grab this rubber mallet as well. <laughs> well, not yet. Unless those kids are complete douchebaggeries, then, uh, you know. Grab these uh, uh, pliers. By the way, if you're wondering why this um, red barrels and everything's looking a bit neater, I basically uh, reset the level. There should be a hammer just on the table or underneath it to the left. So yeah, obviously when you reset the level, everything goes clean and nothing is exploded. Uh, don't need that, that's nothing. But by the car is another two spanners or wrenches, whatever the hell you want to call it from, wherever the hell you're from. Pop those two on. Again, sometimes this is just like, this to me just seems like it's prolonging the game massively. Kill spider. And just by the door will be another hammer and a chisley boy. But yeah, things like that. Like, why are we going into random people's houses and cleaning stuff up for them? We're here to just explode spiders, hon. You know, we're not here to do your friggin' chores for you because you're a fat, bald, lazy mess. Just like me. Right, head into the bin. Kill a spider if you want, if there is one in there. But we are going to be picking up the tracker upgrade. And that is the Sigma module. So make sure to pick that one up as well. Uh, basically coming up to the end now with this level, but we, now we can head into the filing cabinet, so unlock this bad boy. And then eventually it's going to open up. There we go. Grab a couple of these Molotovs. These are going to come in handy much later on. Now you're probably thinking it's extreme overkill. Well, you'd be right. And there is, as you can see, one battery left. We are just killing uh, a couple more spiders. Should be okay though for the challenge, but if you open up the wash machine... Eventually, when I get my, uh, again, just pure paranoia-induced fillness out, we can now unlock the washing machine and grab that upgrade as well. This uh, upgrade is called Trembolone Sandwich. No, it's not. It's called Gel Insoles. Now, with those, I would highly recommend putting them on because we can then click the left stick in to sprint. Go sprinting a little bit as well. So, they definitely come in handy for the next bunch of levels. Not that we have to sprint particularly anyway, but we just have to do... It just gets us through it a bit quicker. So this is where the last battery is then, in the dryer. So, boop -ba boo that should be number 8 out of 8. You should have 6 out of 6 objectives. And now what we can do is start the challenge as we get, you know, complete anarchy and jumping spiders on us. So, all you got to do is kill 10 spiders with fire. This one should not be too bad at all. Just keep walking around. They're going to drop from everywhere on your head. In your bed while you sleep and crawl down your throat while you sleep. <laughs> Oh yeah, as you can see there, I got kind of lucky with the Just Say Nope achievement um, by killing a 
jumping spider while in midair. But that is why I say just try and use the fire. It is the easiest way to do it instead of trying to time your shotguns and your guns and your trying to headbutt them and trying to get them in your mouth. Again, you know, when you sleep in tonight, as we go into level four, make sure there's no creepy crawly spiders about and they're gonna get down your throat and num 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 num. Who loves some protein spider? I do! I don't. Spiders are actual douchebags. So let's grab the next two bits of paper objectives and what we're gonna do is just grab this uh, Conor McGregor looking whiskey piss. Uh, oh, sorry, Connor. I was just joking. Your whiskey is the best. Please don't punch me in the face. Um, just scan. We need to scan three separate bottles to get to over a hundred dollary dues. Again, I was just joking, Connor McGregor. Please don't punch me in the face. Your whiskey definitely doesn't taste like bourbon ass piss. G genuine, though. It's, it tastes lovely. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't taste like ass piss. Anyway, <clears throat> moving on. Again. Punch in the face, don't do it. So, three bottles of them, that'll be the first objective done already. And then what we can do is head into this left cabinet, grab a couple of bullets here, again, always come in handy, and put this switch down. That's going to be the first kind of non-death for us. Open up the second, the right-hand side cabinet, get two bits of fire ammo, or hairspray, and the first out of nine batteries. <clears throat> so... What we're going to do now is just, again, we're on just on the killing the spider spree now. We've got nothing else to do for the minute. Um, so, kill a couple of spiders. This is what the spider looks like, by the way, the spider radar. We can tell exactly where we are, where they are. So, again, set everything on fire. <laughs> Life will be grandy. Grandy? But snatching ass spiders. So, we've unlocked the fridge. We've unlocked the back door now, finally. So, let's unlock this fridge. Which is just on the sort of bottom left-hand corner of the shop right here. You can screw off as well. And the reason we're doing this on the bottom shelf is one of the people's favourite energy drinks. That is going to come in extreme mega handy for some challenges. Just trust me on that. Again, kill a bunch of spiders. If you see any, just kill them. Like I said... And then we can head through the exit door. Might as well grab some ice cream while you're there as well. Because why not? Killing spiders with extreme over prejudice, uh, uh, prejudice, over paranoia, uh, does get very hungry work. Now, one of the objectives is to kill an exploding spider, to kill a spider with an exploding spider. Now, there should be two on these bunch of bricks right here. I can see one. Sadly for me, it didn't quite work that way. Um, the other one is hiding around here, but I uh, didn't manage to find it, which is fine anyway. So, we'll get it a different way. Oh, there it was. But anyway. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't exactly come up for me this time. But again, that's fine. We'll come to that a little bit later on. So, you can just pull this uh, switch down. That should be two out of three. On this uh, generator here, get the new objective, have a blast. And all you got to do is... Literally shoot it. Shoot it once. Again, a whole bunch of spiders to um, whack down. For some reason, I'm forgetting what to do right there. So, stand back. Give that a shoot, and that'll be the second objective complete. If we have a look around these containers, you can grab more Molotovs. And there's a trash bag that we can put away in just a little bit. Um, but we are killing... This is where I get the fight spider with spider. Um, objective, by the way. So again, anytime you see any of those red exploding spiders, just try and shoot them from a distance. And this should usually be a spider about anyway. Um, we're just waiting for these containers to open up. Open up. There we go. So there's Mr. Yellow one, and the red one has opened up as well. We're going to grab the um, objective right there as well. So there's five trash bags about that we need to just put in the bins. 
Again, doing everyone else's work for them when all we're supposed to be doing is RPG and a bunch of spiders to death. And how much are we getting paid for this? Oh, I suppose we've just uh, stolen some ice cream and stolen some jewellery, so I guess we're pretty rich. Anyway, the third one is going to be in this container. The two were basically directly in front of us already. Third one in that container. So go ahead and pop your ass in there. The fourth one, um, well, actually, we're just going to be grabbing the silenced pistol first. Uh, from where we just got these same trash bags. So you should ha now have the silenced pistol in your inventory. And just around this, the back of this yellow container should be the next bin bag. Again, if you want to get your Michael Jordan in and try and, uh, you know, uh, yeah, I'm not very good. I'm not tall or handsome enough to play basketball. I've never seen an ugly basketball player in my life. There we go, but that'll be the fourth one, and the fifth one's going to be on top of this um, lorry. Now, what I think you're supposed to do is actually put it in and then take it out for it to count. Because uh, for some reason, <laughs> it, it just wasn't counting for me until one of them flew out. So, um, trying to, so yeah, just, just put it in, take it out, and then that is what should get you that objective complete. Right, so what we're going to do now is head into the yellow container. Again, some really nice guy is just leaving us out some delicious little flavours. Spice Explosion. Now, what it didn't, what it failed to tell you was they forgot to put ass in the middle of that. So, they are the spiciest crisps known to man. And it gives you the ultimate Eric Carmen ass explosion from the World of Warcraft episode. Uh, <laughs> well, hey, we've all been there, man. <laughs> we've all been there after an Indian food, after a bit of Indian food, you know? <laughs> Still, goddamn delicious though. Right, so that is this area done with. Now we can unlock the blue container, start to head through here. Again, any spiders about that you see while we're waiting, go ahead and do that. But again, you should be on four out of six objectives and one out of nine batteries. In fact, we're going to get the next one as well for uh, turning that switch down. Head to this little porta, porta loo, porta party. We're going to open that up. And there we go. Lovely. Pick up the present. That's nice. Kerosene soaked bullets. Uh, well, I hope they haven't been down that. Oh, well, someone's had a complete diarrhea spice ass explosion. If there was a bunch of fire coming out of that. Oh, my God. Well, that smelled delightful. Anyway, a bunch of bullets on the floor you can pick up if you're wanting to. Uh, but it's not this drain, but the one just up the road is going to have a little upgrade for us. Now, we're coming up to another one of those editing scenes. Another thing I forgot. So, we're going to head past this truck, and there's going to be a blue car you can see right in front of us now. Um, but this edit, I've just, I've basically switched it. Um, now, this gasoline, we are going to be picking up. I, and again, ignore these weapons, we get those later on. <laughs> so, ap again, apologies about this. But I forgot the gasoline the first time through. But we are literally just, we're in the same area, just the other side of the truck and the other side of the car. So, again, you're not going to unlock this achievement right here. So, please ignore that. And then what we can do, now, I get another two achievements here. There's going to be a spider on this box. Now, try and stand. If there's one here, try and stand where I am, just behind the tree, and give him a kill. And that will unlock the From Downtown achievement. And that is for shooting a spider with a revolver from a long distance. Again, you can get this at any point in the game. Um, so if you don't get it now, you can get it later on. Uh, but give the uh, petrol tank a little shoot. That's going to explode. That's going to get us the oil boom achievement. So two quick achievements there. Again, make sure that you pick up the gasoline from the blue car as well. That is the equipment. Uh, again, I'll, I'll have everything in timestamps below. So even if you do accidentally miss one, don't panic. Your little fantastic nuts off about them so go to this uh, the, the first area that we sort of came to outside there is going to be there is going to be a little spider that we can kill because that's what we're doing now for the final objective and i just see it finally right there again this was after about a minute or two of bloody looking for these explosive spiders uh, but there should be two maybe three in that first area so always use a spider anyway and now what we're going to do, we can start 
in fact, we're going to get the batteries first, so apologies. Before we start the challenge, we're going to get the batteries, so grab the first, the second one from the bin. Remember the first one we grabbed from this cabinet earlier on. Uh, you can use a door if you want, but there is a big uh, hold, explosive hole to nip on through. Uh, just underneath this lorry's wheel, that is going to be the third out of nine batteries. Just behind the yellow container is going to be battery number four out of nine. Just where we got the uh, bin bag, the trash bag, the trash bag from a little bit earlier on. The fifth one is in the uh, actual bin itself, in the left-hand side one. Let's grab number five, and then turn directly behind you. Not this way, behind you. Just where we got the silenced pistol from a little bit earlier on. In the tent is a random battery. What are you doing with batteries? You had a, you had a battery anal night without me? G God damn it. Now nah, that probably hurts, doesn't it? So from here, go through the blue container to the left. Behind the port loo is battery number 7 out of 9. And if we go directly in front of us, uh, you'll have to do a bit of crouching because in this little drain pipe right here, this little Mr. Pipe, Dwayne Pipe, is going to be battery out of 9. And then directly in front of us on the wheelchair where we picked up the bullets off the ground is battery 9 out of 9. Ah, oh, plus another explosive spider. So if you are stuck, there's another one right there for you, I suppose. Right, so now you should have... Uh, 24 kills at least, 6 out of 6 objectives done, 9 out of 9 batteries, now the energy drinks really come in handy at this point. So make sure you've got the energy drinks um, in your inventory or assigned to you. So eventually, I've, if, uh, yeah, don't don't put the, the speakers on, on fire, there's, there's no point, don't do that. So there we go, I'm just trying to figure out how to put it on, so press the Y button, assign the energy drink. Again, second, whatever is going to be easier for you. And then as soon as you start it, just press the right trigger to drink one. That is all we're going to be doing. And that slows down time and helps absolutely massively. So, quickly kill spiders without using explosives. We've only got 13 seconds to do it. So, just quickly run around as fast as you can. I do stop in time for some reason right there. But just keep walking around the shop. There should be another couple that appear around here. And really, with the energy drink, you should get this done in no time at all. So, again, if you fail, you shouldn't have any problems. You can just restart as many times as you want. But those energy drinks, I think you have about four, four or five per level, I think. Something like that. So, um, yeah, you shouldn't have any issues. Energy drinks slow down time massively. Uh, it makes your heart want to pop out of your ass. It's um, <laughs> These energy drinks are fantastic things. Anyway, with all that done though, and you've done the last challenge, we can head for the exit, which is right at the back here, and head on to level 5 already. Level 5. Level 5. Welcome to the Garden of Evil. <laughs> oh, sorry, that was the Ace Ventura laugh. Wrong one. Now, nah, well, no problems. Right, what we're going to do is, um, again, obviously from the last level, we can sort out our, or you can sort out your items and weapons, whatever you want. But immediately, just past this little statue right here is going to be the first battery. So make sure to pick that one up immediately. We are going to need some fire. But head to the left, just uh, past this statue, or just behind it, will be another two batteries. And then interact with the objective paper thing. Pick up some more ammo if you'd like as well. And we need to solve the riddle, which is extremely difficult, as in not whatsoever. So the first one, you just um, light on fire, where we've got the two batteries. Then the next one to the right, and then to the right again. That is the riddle solved. So... That was difficult, wasn't it? Now we've got these new spiders which shoot, shoot spider webs at you. We're going to get an achievement called Blind Justice. So wait until one shoots you and then kill it. So give them a whack <laughs> as quick as you can. There we go. So again, you will be probably getting that achievement. I'd say that's pretty much unmissable as well. Because uh, you'll be killing these little bastards all the way through this anyway. Um, even after they shoot you. So uh, right, there we go. So again, what we're doing, just find a couple of spiders to um, stick your nut into. 
I mean, not literally a nut. I mean, that's British slang for your head. Sorry, not your actual nuts. Because, uh, well, well, I'm sure all TikTokers are end up doing it as well because it's a challenge. Do the TikTok challenge. Stick your wiener inside a spider. <laughs> or something. Open up the Zen Gate! Open up the Zen Gate! Make sure to pick up this flower tree bonsai thing! And the reason we're doing that is because th this whole level is basically solving a couple of puzzles. So, Zen Gate's open, we're gonna pick up this... I assume it's a bonsai tree, right? I'm not stupid. I mean, I am stupid, but I don't think I'm... <laughs> I don't think I'm that retarded just yet. Um, but what we can do immediately is pick up the trimmer right in front of us. Again, this is going to come in handy for an achievement later on as well. Um, and then if we just um, interact with this new objective, just behind it will be some more hairspray and the fourth out of eight batteries. So stick that and put that where the sun don't shine, son. <laughs> Which can be anywhere you want it to be. Pick up the little bonsai tree, head into the next area... And just pop it on. I, I think this has got to be a particular order. Make sure to pick up the battery right next to this one as well. So that's a battery 5 out of 8. Um, yeah, again, easy enough to figure out. Again, not sure if they have to be in a p particular order. I think they do. Uh, but just put them where I do anyway. So right here. And then this one on this rock directly in front of us. Pop it there. That is that objective complete. So again, whap out your frying pan. I just find it is... Pretty much one of the best melee weapons <laughs> in this game. Uh, a couple of bullets here. And again, there's going to be a bunch of spiders that we are going to need to uh, stick your TikTok and nut into. Or stick your head into. Because I hate TikTok. Okay? There. I said it. Alright? I hate TikTok. I think it's full of weeders and crap. But it does come with some uh, good information and stuff, I suppose. Uh, anyway... Kill a couple of spiders, as many as you can. That's all I'm doing for the time being. Couple of uh, little black ones. A uh, couple of hairy, disgusting, hateful ones as well. But just in this area, right behind the statue, is going to be the sixth out of eight batteries. So just make sure to pick that one up then. And uh, just keep on going on the killing spree for now. Right, so the gate is open, but we don't need to go in there just yet. What we're going to do is whip out our fire, and right where I am, just give that a little spruce of fire, and flash. Look what appears, a hidden path. F fantastic. Right, so head just back. Uh, we're just going to go back around. Um, again, this is for an objective that we're going to... Uh, so we can go basically back to the first area right here, and then just where this lion statue is, give that a little spruce. Bruce of Lynx, um, arm spray, and there we go, that will be the objective complete, revealing the hidden paths, and now we can pop the lion, there's basically four specific, uh, four lion statues that we need to get and put it in a size order on these pedestals right here. So go ahead, grab the objective, grab some hairspray off this small pedestal, grab this lion, that will go on the third one by the way. Um, but, you know, fourth one, we can just swing it around later. So have a look under here. We get some more Molotovs. Get another lining. I'll go ahead, pop it around again. You can probably see a couple of spiders. Again, bash what you can. Bash one out if you want. Up to you. But we are playing a game right now, so... Uh, <laughs> okay, what have we got left to do? So solving this riddle and still killing all those web spiders. Right, so head to the basically opposite side of where we are to find... Battery number seven out of eight, and battery number eight is basically up there, up these steps and around. But we are just going to kill this. I, what a dick! What a dick move by a spider. Who knew that spiders were full of dick moves, huh? Creeping down your throat and everything in the middle of the night. Yeah. Um, right. So kill what you can if you do see some about, of course. Otherwise, we can just pick up this next one. 
And Poppymon, obviously, he is the midgetist lion. The lion cub who can still rip you to shreds if you really wanted. Interesting. Okay, so now we're going to head up the steps. And we are going to be grabbing the 8th out of 8 battery now. So there it is, just at the top, right by the challenge stereo. With some pretty fantastic music uh, when we start the challenges, I'll give it that. Uh, but like I said, always worth smashing your saucepan out, because this is... I don't know, for me, it was one of the best weapons in the game, apart from the RPG and the assault rifle and, and the fire. So the fourth best weapon in the game. Right, so... Again, I think what we're going to do is just uh, kill, just to try and kill a couple more spiders for now, and then through the locked door, uh, just by the path, is where we are going to get the last lion head. So, not actually does it then, lads. With that one done, we can now go ahead and grab the final lion. Again, you might have got that one done before me or just after me. Like I said, plenty of spiders still around if you still haven't got it yet. Anyway, unlock this door, which should be unlocked for you by now. And then head around the corner. Right by the door is the Arachnodex Tracker Upgrade. So, before you leave, go to the end and grab the lion. Mr. Lion... And that is what we'll get this one done. So we're getting close now to the end of the level. There is a missable achievement as well for basically destroying all the hedges around here. So make sure to uh, not smash that one up. Uh, swap the third and fourth lines there. I did put them on the wrong ones. But that objective will be complete. Which means we can now head up the steps and the shrine will be unlocked for us. So even though it's unlocked for us, it still seems like we're you know trying to lockpick our way through it for some reason. Hmm. Who knows? Anyway, get the new objective, get the present, and grab the shurikens. Shuriken. Sure you can. Right, what we have to do is just solve the riddle, and this basically means we get a giant magnet as well, by the way. But all we got to do is actually just kill one spider with the sure you can. Uh, so, look for a spider. The, <coughs> the only problem with these sure you cans... Um, You've got to be so... I mean, it's a small thing, so, you know, you've got to be dead on precise with these things. Um, so it might always be worth just getting an energy drink down you if you wanted, uh, but it's probably best to save them for the challenges. So just go ahead and kill a spider, any spider, with these sure you cans. And you can pick them back up as well if you miss, which I end up doing a lot. <laughs> Stop jumping, you red butthole. Come here, you little red butt snatch. Let me kill you with a sure you can. Please. Ah, okay, there we go. So, finally, then, that. Could literally take you up to 5 minutes, 10 minutes, could take you the first couple of tries. For me, it didn't take me the first couple of tries. Anyway, what we need to do is just kill spiders with the sure you cans. This is why I said save your energy drinks, because your energy drinks, the cans of pure, fantastic ethanol, the tastiest ethanol, will come in complete handy right here. Just trust me. Also, get out some of your cheesy piths. Because what we're going to do is put the cheese puffs down. We need to get the spiders basically stood still. Because that will just make it way easier. So, energy drink, sure you can, cheese puffs. Get them down. They're going to start falling from the sky. So get an energy drink down you first. You can try, for me, it, well, it seemed to work first time. But we are just going to put a bunch of cheesy puffs down. So we can draw the spiders out rather than going looking for them. Again, you can... Try and do what I'm doing here, except don't fail miserably like I'm doing here. Um, as soon as your energy drink runs out, get another one down you. Technically, it's heart attack, uh, heart attack central, but you know, that's fine. So, just keep with that plan. As soon as you see there's no more cheesy poofs, chuck a couple down, dot them around everywhere, keep drinking your energy drinks, and it shouldn't be too bad. Hopefully. <laughs>
Right, oh, thank God for that. So after a pretty awful start, I finally managed to get it. And hopefully you have too. But this is where we're going to be grabbing the next missable achievement before heading to the exit. So don't head to the exit just yet. What we're going to do is get out, out our hairspray. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, what I would do is just all you've got to do is literally lightly tap the right trigger on all of these hedges. So start off from the other side. I waste a lot of fire going around. You don't really need to do this. Just a little bit of fire until the hedges turn into basically long grass, as you'll be able to see. Um, but it doesn't matter if you do run out of fire. I will show you the next couple of ways that we can use it. Molotovs on the hedge trimmer. So it doesn't have to be all on fire. But if you want to use... If you don't want to use um, up all your ammo as quickly as I do, just don't... I, I just literally lightly tap the right trigger but just keep going all the way around the outside of the level where we've been and there we go I've just run out very stupidly um, but again that should be fine <clears throat> so you don't have to do all um, it's pretty much like 90% of it 85-90% of it but what you can do then if you just keep going around see the more hedges chuck a couple of molotovs at it there we go burn them up nice and slicey so as long as the hedges there are looking more like long grass, then you know that you're doing it right, and you're doing it not shite. So again, a couple of Molotovs here, there, and everywhere. And at this point, I was thinking, oh crap, hopefully this just burns the rest of it, and then it's all good. But it didn't. So, hedge trimmer comes to your rescue, which of course you should have already picked up in this level through the first Zen door. So, there it is. Pop your trimmer out. Well, if you got some, uh, well, if you got something that needs trimming down below as well, well, you know, the hedge trimmer will always work. But <laughs> here we go then. So as you can see, didn't need the whole uh, hedge maze, just most of it. But make sure that we've got that achievement there before heading for the exit, and we can move on to the next level. the barnstorm event so we're on to level six this is actually quite a fun one as well very small map as they usually are so first thing we're going to do wipe out your frying pan head to the left grab this flower bag and pick up the first out of ninos batrioses head to the opposite side as well like obviously you see any spiders you give them the whack of life have a look in this chest get yourself a new tracker upgrade the holster and smash this boy and all of his babies to death. You die now. You creepy butt snatchers. Etc, etc. Um, grab this paper, not this tree. Kind of messed that one up for myself there. Um, but the new paper and the new objective will basically be to uh, destroy 20 plant pots. Which are all, well, we're right here. So, go from any side, but just destroy all 20 plant pots. Kill all spiders that you can. There is going to be the second battery right underneath here as well, into this second pot. Boop, there it is, so make sure to pick that one up as well. Smashy, smashy! Smash, smash, destroy, kill, kill all the spiders who want to eat you alive and don't actually turn you into Spider-Man. Yeah, which is a damn shame. So when you get, when we get bitten by Spider-Man, yeah, we just uh, uh, any toxic spider, we just die rather than get turned into Spider-Man, which is a shame. So anyway, head to the left when we finish that objective. Pick up this new one, and this is for destroying or burning 15 hay bales. So pick up the battery right in between these two hay bales. And give it a little spruce of Lynx uh, arm spray right here. Or you can Molotov it, whatever you want. It literally makes no difference as long as those three are burnt. There's a lot more than 15 in here as well, so don't worry if you actually haven't got this one. 
Now you should be able to unlock the um, greenhouse. Uh, not quite the garage yet. So there we go, when we get in here, there is going to be another objective for us. Very easy though, and of course another bunch of spiders. Pick up the bullets, uh, you can leave that thing alone. Pick up the objective, and all it is is for uh, knocking out 23 of the vegetables, which I think we get most of them done just by killing everyone. So, there's the regicide. Objective complete. Again, might take you a little bit longer, you might have already done it by now. Now that's just for killing all, however many it was of those weird red and black spiders. So, if you haven't done it yet, just press the X button and press the X button again to drop it. And then eventually we should get that one. Nice and easy cheesy does it. There is another battery in here just at the back where those big fat pumpkins were. Not pumpkins, um, big old orange boys. So before leaving, yeah, pumpkins. Yeah, that's a pumpkin, red. Am I just being stupid right now? Probably. But <laughs> that's also fair. So make sure to pick up the fourth out of nine batteries from the back of there before we head out. Which means now we should be able to unlock the garage. Why do people say garage like a garage? Who the hell is that posh? No offense if you are that posh, of course, but uh, garage. <clears throat> anyway, open up the toolbox. If there's a spider in there, give him the whack of life. And there's going to be another battery just underneath here. But again, I get rid of creepy looking villain spider. Who just gives birth to another bunch of white spiders. Blech. Imagine that happening in front of your face. I suppose in Australia it's a natural occurrence really, isn't it? It's just what they do. Um, so pick up the flashbang grenade for some new equipment. And there is going to be another battery in here. For some reason I couldn't end up collecting this one and it ended up flinging away. But make sure you pick that battery up. That will be battery 6 out of 9. I end up having to just reset the level uh, and just grabbing that battery a little bit later on anyway. But... Uh, so if that does happen to you, just reset the level later on before finishing, and jobs are good un. Uh, I do try and have a look for it here, but I have literally no idea where in the booby snatch that actually went. So, uh, well, that sucks for me. But like I said, for you, make sure to pick that one up in that box there. That would have been six out of nine. Um, so pick up some more Lynx um, fire spray right here. I don't know why it turned from hairspray to lynx spray, but that's just what I do. That is the mind of an absolute moron, is what you're dealing with right here. So, now we can get some of that old lynxy bob spray. Give this a little burn. You literally only need to dab it a bit. It's like dabbing it down below, really. If you're a male, it just... Your bowels burn, just like this hay bale. Oh, oh why do we do that? Right, so, uh, but that should be it for this e uh, area, then. That's the garage all done. So, we've got a couple of things to do in here. Plus, this achievement, which... Uh, I'm not sure if this is missable. I think we've actually got to kill the spider with the anvil. So, uh, this isn't a missable achievement, because we've got to do this one anyway. <clears throat> ah, excuse me again there. Right, so, of course, we can see in the, uh, a whole bunch of hay bales. Uh, what we're going to do, though, is get the... Um, we're going to shoot the barrel first, sorry, lose my head a bit, and then what we're going to do is burn the hay bale, and then drop the anvil on the spider a bit later on. Me trying to interact with it, not realising how just how heavy an anvil is, especially when our main character apparently has no arms or legs. Awkward. So, give the um, hay bale the Molotov, or the Lynx Arm Spray of life. Eventually, that'll just burn them all. But there is another battery. Um, it might, might be a little bit hard to see, actually. But there is another battery um, underneath all those hay bales. So, I do actually end up grabbing it, which is going to be... This will be 7 out of 9 for you now. But on the other uh, original playthrough, I actually missed it. So, that's why it says 5 out of 9 for me. Don't worry about that. You should now have 7 out of 9, providing you just picked that last one up. Yeah, editing skills. Being a bit sucky in this one. Uh, apologies. <laughs> So, we're going to chuck our balloons up. Basically, we need to pop two balloons, assign it any way you want. Uh, get a cheese puff as well. So, it's a cheese puff and two balloons that we need. Right, so, just pop two balloons on the anvil. It's going to raise it up. A couple of spiders. There are going to be one or two spiders anyway. So, you need to now sort of put the cheese puff 
kind of in the middle. It might be a little bit difficult to see sometimes. But we need to get our revolver out now. And as soon as the spider's there, give him the drop. And hopefully, it should work for you first time. I almost ended up missing it. Um, but it can be hard to see. But hopefully, you'll get that one as well. But that is how you get the um, that particular spider anvil achievement. So, whack out these next three hay bales for us. <coughs> Voice is getting a bit ee, squeaky. I'll be the chipmunk squeaky right here. Because, of course, that still makes me a man, even though I've got high bows. Right, we should now have enough to interact with this case. So we're going to whap that one open. And we are going to grab the AK-47, the assault rifle. New equipment, lovely. Have a look in this port up party, this port loo right here. Grab a couple more Molotovs. And there is going to be a battery, very well hidden, actually, battery right there. So that will be 8 out of 9 for you. And if we don't have enough to open up the barn yet, again, just go and take a little look around. You should have the spider and everything on. So uh, just go ahead, go on the smashy, smashy, paranoid, hateful spider spree until you, we get enough to unlock the barn. You die! You die and go to hell! So, as it turns out, I think I already had enough and I was just unlocking it, but, uh, well, still, you know, it's out good. Right, one more Molotov of Life or Lynx Arm Spray, whichever one you want to do. And that should be that objective complete for burning up all 15 hay bales. But, there we go. Your 9th out of 9 battery is going to be, um, just past that other hay bale up there. We'll grab that in a minute, but we'll, we're going to grab a whole bunch of equipment right here. And a bunch of ammo with some more Lynx Arm Spray. Delicious! you got to smell good for when we see absolutely nobody. Because everyone's dead from spider infestations. Pumping out your stomach when they all crawl down your throat at night. <laughs> anyway, pick up this last battery right here. That, for you, should be 9 out of 9 batteries. We should have all objectives complete. So, life will be good. But we want to go into the Porter Loo right here. Again, poorly edited. Missed this one out. Um, before I had to reset, forgot, I basically forgot to unlock this one as I reset the level. Um, so have a look in here, we get a new flavour called Sticky Lemon. So if you do ever need to reset a level for whatever reason, um, make sure to unlock all the doors that you can first, otherwise you have to just kill the amount of ne spiders necessary to uh, reopen whatever door that you didn't unlock. So, right, what we're going to do then is do the challenge and get a missable achievement as well. So we're going to get the energy drink, the cheesy poofs, and the assault rifle out as well. So make sure they are all in close proximity. Uh, go past the stereo for now. We're actually going to go into this uh, cabinet and get the new upgrade, which is a reflex sight. So again, if, again, if you do miss anything, you can easily just replay the chapter. But let's start the challenge. So get a good can of monster down you like. And we just have to kill the spiders using the assault rifle without reloading. So it shouldn't be too bad, uh, especially with the energy drink slowing down time and everything. So just do that and, well... Easy as sticking a cheesy poof down your genitalia or something. Oh, in fact, it was so easy, we already done it. <laughs> so the easiest way that we're going to get the MLG Pro achievement, this is for basically 360 no-scoping uh, and killing a spider. So the easiest way to do this, keep your energy drink, your cheesy poofs and your assault rifle ready. Um, replay the challenge, don't worry, it, it'll already show that you've already done it. What that's obviously going to do is draw the spider out. Now, what you have to do is jump, spin, and shoot and kill a spider. Um, but I think that you've got to start doing it all at the same time. I'm not sure. It took me a couple of attempts, uh, at least a minute or two, for whatever particular reason. So, I don't know if you've got to literally start doing all three at the same time. So, jump, spin, and shoot all at the same time, and then eventually, um, the achievement will unlock. So, as you can see, I start... I'm, Racking up the kills, yes, but it really didn't seem to be working. So I'm not sure if you have to do it that particular way, but eventually, like I said, 
you will get that MLG Pro achievement, 360 no scope and a spider, with the assault rifle. And when that's done, we can now head to the exit and move on to level 7 out of 8. So for whatever reason then, this is actually my favourite level of the game, not sure why, but we are in a nice cosy office. You know those cosy offices that, um, that these are people with <coughs> quote unquote real jobs, you know, the ones who are jealous that people who play games and things for a living actually get millions of pounds, you know, those jealous types. Anyway, in this first draw is the first battery out of eight, and then what we're going to do is grab this computer, we're going to pop eight computers all at the same time and just burn them all at the same time to get that objective complete. The second battery was just on the table, the opposite corner of the room right there. You've just seen it. And now go ahead and smashy smashy the spiders. By the way, I will always laugh at those people who go, why don't you get a real job? Who the hell wants to be shouted at for a living and have to work nine till five? That shit sucks bows. Nobody wants to do that. Not in an office or not unless it's fun anyway. So. Get yourself the smashy smashy until we're able to open the next door. And like I always maintain, you die, you die and go to hell. Right, the cubicles should now be unlocked. Not cubicles, as in uh, UK toilets, as in cubicles, as in US offices. Um, so we can go ahead, head in there, and then we're just going to drop this computer in the sort of middle of the room. And like I said, we're going to grab another seven, pop it all in there, chuck another Molotov on it. So head into the right, get rid of this stack of papers. A spider is going to drop down, so give him the uh, wacky smacky backy of life. And then pick up the third out of eight batteries and grab this computer onto the top shelf, pop that in the middle of the room. Tidy, bang, buff, pop, by the pants. Or whatever the hell I just said. Right, so if there is a couple of spiders and you can't see them and you think, oh, what can I do? Um, either give them the Molotov of life or just give them the Lynx arm spray of life. And eventually they'll all come out and be all like, ah, squeak, squeak, squeak. Man, I'm dying. Ah, oh, God. Now nah, I'm dead. Give me. See, I told you, they all said if they were to speak human, they'd be like, Oh god, now I'm dead. Come here. Right, from the left side cubicle, grab this computer, pop that one on there. Again, we'll just leave that for a little bit later on. Nothing in this particular area, unless there's a spider for you. If not, just go ahead. Um, careful, careful. Ah, oh, damn it! We marked the computer. Oh, we'll have to burn it now, get a new one. Ah, shame, isn't it? Search is life. Right, pick up some bullets. That's all we're needing from this particular area. Unless, like I said, there are some more spider pepperoni spideronies about. Since there's not, we can now just go ahead, grab some bullets from this computer chair. Uh, don't, I don't think there's anything here. Oh, sorry, there is a battery. My bad, I completely forgot about that battery. Pick up that fourth battery <laughs> out of eight behind the monitor. And then we're going to be grabbing these two computers and shoving them in the middle of the room as well. Oh, sorry, my, my head is, my head's gone. Too much wanky spanking. Oh, sorry, I meant, I meant to say spanky. I, d I don't actually know what I meant to say. <laughs> so, welcome to my channel, new people. All right, so, um, we've got those two computers in there. Again, wacky whack the spiders. I'd be taking one of those, a couple of those monitors home with me, to be honest. They look quite tidy. Uh, into the next cubicle, nothing here but another computer. Careful. Careful, 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 ah, uh, oh, that was quite careful, actually. Right, grab this next one from this cubicle, then, and what that will do, oh. Well, the annex has just opened up for me, which is nice for killing a certain amount of spiders. So, they're done, I think we're all done in this area, we can now literally just go ahead and burn the computers, chuck a Molotov on it, bam. 
Of course, you could have literally just left it there, chucked a bit of Lynx Arm Spray on it, and could have done it that way. Um, but for some reason, I just liked watching them all burn like that. So to the very end here, as we can see, we needed 10 to unlock the, the Annex door. And here we are. So again, a couple of spiders in here. There is another battery, and there is a, another objective we have to do as well. So, the objective is on the mainframe, and all we have to do, it's not difficult, we just have to find these little USB sticks, USB pens, USB drives, whatever you want to call them, USB bumper snatches, and just pop them in with uh, the highlighted bit. So, there'll be one on the desk, one on the shelf, one on the computer chair right there. There is going to be a battery on this shelf directly in front of us. That woman and that Chad Pizza Virgin guy is absolutely everywhere. What the hell? Anyway, <laughs> from Chad Pizza Virgin guy, grab that USB stick, pop it in the bottom of the mainframe. And grab one off this little tea trolley desk type thing. By the way, I do apologise if they're actually the developers of the game. Um, you, you, you're not virgins, you're actually probably better than me. <laughs> Since you can actually make games, and all I do is just talk crap over them. So, yep, yeah, there was another one just behind the computer desk as we had the nice red jumpy spider spit at us. Another one is going to be in the bin. Again, kill the old spideronies of life. I, I hate when that happens, but luckily, this time, we can find it right there. So, just try and be careful that it doesn't jump out at you. And grab this final USB stick, and that would be the mainframe complete. Job done. Bang, tiny, mate. Okay. So, uh, I don't think there's any spy. Oh, well, there is actually. There he is. Stupid boom, the snatch man. Open up the middle door right there. And again, what we're going to be doing is coming up to our last unlockable flavor as well. So, providing you've been following along, you should get that achievement. But we're going to pick up this objective from the table for making a wish. Again, uh, have a look in the microwave for the next battery. Obviously our character doesn't have arms and legs, so I assume he doesn't have a face or a mouth to breathe either. So, kill, okay, or miss spider apparently. But pick up the fire extinguisher from underneath the sink and put it on the cake. That will complete the make a wish objective complete. And then just whack out this uh, vending machine. Grab the royal grape. Now the eclectic taste achievement for you should unlock right now, providing you've been following along with the video but you should now get the eclectic taste achievement and we're going to go for another missable achievement as well so pop a couple of these royal great bad boys down and then eventually one of these red spiders is going to come take a look and that's going to turn into a queen give him the whack death of life and then eventually one of the white spiders is going to eat it turn into a queen herself and that is how we unlock the uh, line of succession achievement so that's all you need to do then, when the uh, Queen eventually succumbs to her 120 year old frame. Um, you know, little prince or little... I don't know how it works. Uh, somebody's going to take a look anyway. Anyway, do not smash the toilet, what I just done right there. You can pick up the battery, make sure to pick that one up. But we need to be grabbing this new objective first before um, smashing the urinals and everything. It doesn't make too much of a difference because even though I smashed it, you can still complete the objective anyway. So all we're literally doing is smashing the toilet. There is an upgrade to the right of us, uh, which I'll come back for in a little bit, uh, apparently. Uh, but that's all we're doing then. Just smash every toilet in the men's room and the ladies' room. And you should get that with no problems. By the way, sorry to any ladies who actually work in this office. If you're about to, um, you know, diarrhea to blow your pants or... You know, Tom appears, if you know what Tom is. <laughs> Ladies know what Tom is. And you're about to seep red through your pants. I've just destroyed all the toilets, so, um... You know, <laughs> my bad, my bad. But it's what we've got to do to kill all the spiders. You'll have to poop and blood somewhere else, I'm sorry. Anyway, head back into the men's room, of course. We need to grab this upgrade. The tracker upgrade, which is the laser. So make sure to grab that before moving on. But we are all done. Again, sorry to all the ladies. Um, men are pretty much cavemen, so they poop anyway, so that's that's fine. But, you know, ladies are more dignified than us, <laughs> I, I should think. Right, do not kill these white spiders. There's a whole bunch of black spiders on the floor. 
Well, they're basically zombie spiders, these ones. So they are going to... Um, there's another battery here, the 8 out of 8 battery, and there is a present, the upgrade, the flashlight. Uh, so make sure to grab those two as well. But what we need to do is kill 10 of these black spiders. Um, which, of course, they're already dead. We need to wait for these white spiders to make these ones alive. And then life will be good. So, that's all we're going to be doing. So, like I said, we just got the 8 out of 8 battery, got the upgrade flashlight as well. Now what we're doing, you can pick up the RPG as well, which we just opened up from the um, case, uh, well, big case on the left. There it is. Uh, I think I pick it up now. Yeah, there we go. So that is some new equipment as well. Pick up the RPG. That'll come in handy for the next challenge. Um, now, for whatever reason, again, this did take me a couple of minutes to try. It's a small office, but for some reason, these spiders hide a lot better in here than anywhere. So... Um, you can kill one of these spiders, that's fine, because we need it for the objective anyway, to kill five of these things. Um, but it was just best not to uh, kill them straight away, because we need to kill ten of the revived um, spiders, as it were. So, go ahead, kill uh, ten of them, and like I said, you can kill one of these spiders anyway, that will be no problem. And that will also get you an achievement for killing a spider of every type as well. Where are you, butt snatches? Oh, dear one. Hey, you go make everything be alive now. Ah, look at this sneaky, stuck little butthole. God damn it, spider. There's nothing worse than a spider. It's a spider that hides very, very well. You know those ones that you've seen? You've seen a, just seen a big, chunky one on the carpet or something? And then you look around for two seconds and then it's gone? <laughs> yeah, those ones piss me off. Anyway, give this guy... We are going to give this uh, guy a little whack. Yes, I very hate those spiders, very muchly. Um, eventually, we're going to give him a whack anyway. Come on, Cap. Come on, Cap. Give him a whack. Oh, you know, try and hit him as well if you want, but uh, donkey ass. Right, so that is dead is better. That achievement, like I said, we wouldn't have been able to get that uh, objective complete without killing those revived black spiders. So now what we've got to do is kill those said radioactive spiders. Since there's none in here, they are basically all going to be in this uh, cubicle area. So, there we go. They may be a bit um, hard to see. So, if you are having any trouble with it, take a look at your spider and then just chuck some Lynx arm spray fire on it. There you go. Life will be good. Kill five of these and that'll be that. We can finally go ahead and get the, object uh, the challenge done. I'm 
I'm feeling very much like the Mafia right now. Come out, man, we know where you are. We've got nowhere left to hide. Let me just burn you instead, yes? Okay, okay, okay. Ah-ha! I knew you were in there, you little son of a bitch. Generally don't know what accent that was meant to be, but, uh, you know, you get the drift anyway. Like a little small fry in a little small pond, right. What we're going to do is head to the exit, and I tell you why, we're going to reset this, because it will, for the next challenge, uh, we need all the spiders we can get, and since we just killed the majority of them, a lot of them won't appear, so we are going to head to the exit first. Sorry if you did just pick that up, I did actually slightly burp a little bit, sorry, I am pig. <laughs> Very sorry. Right, so reset the level, go back to this level, and then of course all the doors will be open anyway. So we can head into this room. We're going to close all the doors. You should, of course, have the RPG and everything. But as you can see, then, everything, all the dead spiders are there, ready to go. So what we need to do is kill 10 different spiders with 10 different weapons. So um, what I do first is go with all the guns first. Uh, the clipboard does count as well, but the fire, the, the Lynx Arm Spray fire doesn't count. So I whap in all the guns, the so science pistol, revolver, shotgun, assault rifle, RPG, and I've got Molotov and C4 and the clipboard ready. So that's two, four, six, eight, nine. So that'll be nine kills already. Uh, sorry, eight, because we actually need an energy drink. We need to get the cans of monster down us. And just like my name suggests, we're going to be punching holes through walls and everything. So whap the energy drink down you then, kill the first spider, and that will already be one. Go ahead, right bumper yourself, and go over to your silenced pistol or revolver. We need to get these two little douchebaggery spiders down. So you can kill one of these spiders if you want, but I chose to leave them. Um, just as I thought it would be a lot easier to leave them so they can wake more of these feckin' things up. So that'll be two. Next, go over to your silenced pistol, or whatever it is that you put the order in. Next gun. Bam. So that's already four. Next gun, assault rifle. And then we got the RPG. Give that the extra explosion of life. Maybe that is definitely a bit overkill, but such is life. As soon as your energy drink runs out, chuck it back on. And just remember which one you would done last. So for me, this time it was the Molotov. Not, a, not entirely sure if the Molotov actually counted in all fairness. I, I don't actually think the Molotov did count, so... Um, yeah, a bit annoying that one. Uh, you've got to press re left or right on the D-pad to get the C4 controller up, by the way. So when you've got that one, you should now be on at least 7 out of 10. Then we can get the, the frying pan, the sure you can, and the trimmer. And that should be that. Not sure if you can kill him with a fire extinguisher as well, but doing it this way was easy enough. So frying pan, nice and easy. And with the trimmer... And then just kill them with the sure you can. And hopefully, well, I got 30 seconds left. Hopefully, you can find one and get it done again a lot quicker than I did. I think I get him with the last one. Son of a... Son of a... Bitch, is it? Another energy drink? Come on. Come on, Cal. Monster, punch holes through the wall. Kill spiders with sure you cans. And there we go. See? No problem. No poop at the pants time or anything. <laughs> right. Miserable achievement coming up. So wipe your RPG out. And we're going to go back into the cubicle room. There's going to be a big printer right in the middle of this room. There it is. Bam. Shoot that. And you will get the jam this achievement. Or something like that. It may take some seconds to unlock. There it is. Jam this. And when that is done, we can now just simply head to the exit. For me... Even though we unlocked the exit earlier on, the exit was still locked here for me. So I had to... Uh, basically, I went and replayed the challenge. And um, just ended up killing 30 spiders or 12, however, however many I needed to actually get through. So the exit may be closed for you. Just go ahead, replay the challenge. And then we can finally move on to the final icities of the uh, uh, levels. Jesus Christ, my head. What the hell? Anyway, contingency order, level 8, coming up. And we're going to get another missable achievement straight away. So what I would do is actually move the flag first, because we're going to pick up this golf ball, and look at this. Hole in one, 
destroyed, ruined, because the flag was in the friggin' way. Anyway, all you got to do is pop in the golf ball in the hole. I think you can literally take as many tries as you want, so that makes not a lot of difference there. But you will get the achievement for sinking a putt putt putty. Right, first battery is in the left top drawer. And then the flare gun is new equipment that we can pick up in the bottom drawer. And then in the top, at the bottom right here is a key. And we don't need to worry about that Omega, Omega, Omega file. So... There is going to be three invisible spiders in this room. Give them the squishy, squishy, death, death, defying death of life. And then one of the doors will open up for us. So, wrecking everything off the top shelf, and as it turns out, the spider was actually on the back of the chair. So, if that happens, he's just going to be on the back of the chair. <laughs> Close enough. He was not by uh, Chad, pizza virgin lover. Right there. Right, this laptop is going to come in handy, so we will need that. Uh, but, like I said, we've killed the invisible spiders. Now, what's unlocked for us is the bathroom, which is the door right by the chair. Here we go. So, we are going to keep this... For some reason, I had such trouble with <laughs> trying to put anything straight like this. Anyway. So, first things first. Battery in the bin. Pick that one up. That's going to be battery 2 out of 9. And just click these uh, buttons on the wall. And there's going to be a locked secret door, which we already know where the key is. Bottom right drawer there. Pop that in. Automatically opens. And bring the laptop with you. So we've got a number on different colour codes, and as you'll be able to see, so we've got six on the red one, and that's literally it. Press the uh, press the X button, by the way, <laughs> rather than trying to fry and pan it to death. Again, still having trouble, but screw it. So we've got green one, yellow four, I believe that is, unless my eyes are very much mistaken and I've just confused the two colours. But anyway, it's six one, and the blue one will be seven. I'm pretty sure it's the same for everyone, so not the problem, eh? Yes, there we go. 60174. It's -a me, Chris Pratt as a Mario. No, actually. Hey, man, it's me, Chris Pratt as Mario. He's gonna butcher that role. Oh, I'm not looking forward to that. Anyway, in this new area, grab the Molotovs, grab the energy drinks from the fridge. Directly behind you are some bullets. Ignore the radioactive spiders again. They're gonna come in handy for us later on. And just next to the fridge is the third out of nine batteries. So, um, we obviously want these spiders to um, wake the undead, as it were. So, we just need to wait until they finally... There's two, there are two of them in this particular area. So, there's going to be one right here. Stop. Move. Move, Mr. Spider. Move it. Move it over here. Get on the chair, damn it. But there is isn't. There should be another one right there on the other side as well. So as soon as we can, kill as many spiders as we can to just get into the next room. Oh, there we go. So, <laughs> we made it. But what we're going to do is, in this big area, we're just going to leave the spiders alone. Because the challenge, we actually have to complete. If you fail the challenge, you have to basically just replay the mission. Which is a pain in the ass. The challenge isn't necessarily too bad. But it will be a pain in the ass if you have to, you know, leave it. So we do. I do try and kill only as many spiders as as we particularly need, rather than going on the smushy, smushy, um, death-defying rampage that we've been on, as it were. So, we picked up from the whiteboard another objective. We need the left door to open, so we need ten. Um, not looking good so far for spiders, and why we're just waiting about. He does actually just give us two mines, so I'll give him that. So just do this, and then head through the left-hand side door of this room. And actually, just as we kill this spider, right behind this main console is the fourth out of nine batteries. So, pick that one up as well, just so we don't have to worry about it later on. Otherwise, I think we are golden nuggets to go, baby. Hop behind all this, um... <laughs> Somebody's really scared of spiders, evidently. Pick up the bullet. Don't worry about the cans of tuna. 
That's what you want, isn't it, during a spider apocalypse? Some tuna and some cans of coke. Right. Pick up the 5th out of 9 battery from underneath the table and grab this first uh, arms code or whatever you want to call it. Bloop. Pop that one in. Job done. Smushy smush smush. And then what we need to do is actually, the, from where we were standing, there is a door on the left-hand side and there is a cabinet or a little chest or something right here in front of us. So we can, we should be able to unlock both of those now. Very nice, very nice. Right, so we're going to smash him. We need at least 15, another 3 or 4 kills to get into another room. Pick up all of the bullets in there and then what we just need to do, move the boxes out of the way. Again, with our incredible no-arm strength. Well, I hope we'll be able to get some disability benefits after this, because uh, I've got no arms, no legs, no mouth. Jesus Christ. <laughs> anyway, make sure to open up the gate with the key and then pick up the objective, the arms race objective. And then literally all we're doing is just grabbing absolutely everything. Um, if, you cut, if there's something that doesn't automatically go into your inventory, like then, just drop it. It's no problem. Pick up the Molotovs. Three batteries here, so that's six, seven, eight. Pick up some RPG and pick up the flamethrower off the back of the wall as well. And then when that one is done, that will be the new equipment. Flamethrower, the objective complete arms race. And we can pick up the second code thing. Right, now just in front of us here is another door. If it's locked, obviously just go ahead, kill one or two spiders and come back just to see if it's opened. As I try hitting glass for some reason. Glass isn't a spider, in case I didn't know that. Dumbass! So we're actually coming up close to the end of this particular level now, so... We're just going to get rid of those two spiders so they can do us a solid. But there is going to be a battery. The final battery of the level is going to be behind this uh, desk sitting down on the table. Um, I thought he was underneath as it turns out. Looks more like a big Nintendo Switch to be honest, that one then. So grab, make sure to grab nine, that ninth out of nine batteries. Again, if you have missed any, I've got everything with timestamps down below. Um, in the comments section description anyway, head to this back this big old generator thing grab the third code and now this will all be done Which means as I said earlier when we do this challenge um, We have to complete this one first time if you fail for whatever reason all we have to do is kill 30 spiders But if we fail for whatever reason we have to just replay the mission which Again shouldn't be too bad. We've got everything we know where the arms codes are and all the doors should be unlocked, but it's just a pain in the ass to do it again, isn't it? So, make sure you've got your best couple of weapons. For me, personally, I just get an energy drink, um, the frying pan, and the RPG. Um, if you're better with guns, by all means, of course, use guns. Um, I do use a couple of these cheesy poofs first um, to draw a couple out, but it doesn't particularly make too much of a difference. So, press the red button, and this is where it begins. So, like I said... Let's do this because we have to complete it. Make sure you're always checking your energy drinks levels. As soon as one's running out or just about to run out, make sure you're getting another can of monster, punching the hell out of some walls. Get that down your neck just so the time continues to slow down. The um, timer will start soon, so I do a bit of both. I do a bit of RPG killing and a bit of saucepan killing. Just keep smashing the energy drinks down you from now. Go kill 30 spiders. Come on, you've got this. But they will just appear randomly, so keep checking your tracker as well. Come on. You got this, man.
if you thought that was complete overkill, <laughs> well, you'd be right. <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally causing a nuke explosion just to kill off all the spiders, which, uh, you know, Australia would be happy with that more than anyone in all fairness. Not like us Brits, absolute fannies when it comes to little spiders. Eh, go on, eh, little spider. When there's literally, literally death to find spiders down under. Anyway, this is the final, final level. So head out, have a look at this bottom drawer. There's going to be the first out of nine batteries. Turn behind you. Again, use that incredible no-arm steroid infused protein shake strength to grab this second battery on the floor. Throw these boxes. We don't need them. We just need to go into this particular room right here. Uh, pick up the new objective as well. That's basically for opening our partner's old office. I assume he got bitten on the nutsack, uh, swelled up and exploded. Oh, that sounds painful. Pick up the new upgrade, the two batteries and the tracker upgrade right here as well. There should be two batteries, a tracker and a regular upgrade. And we should already be on four and nine batteries. Um, we do have one challenge left. Uh, but it's very, very easy, so again, don't panic when we get outside. Head left here, pick up the new objective, steroid-infused no-arm strength to throw the boxes out of the way and go into the downstairs office. Head into this drain, actually. What we're going to do is pick up another upgrade. For some reason, someone's just left a present in the drain. Why? I do not know. Anyway, we can head in, head to the left to find a tracker upgrade, two new batteries, which should be six out of nine batteries, and another normal upgrade, and that will actually, that should be the smarter not harder achievement, and when we pick up the saw launcher, you should also get the achievement for collecting every single equipment as well. So you should also have, of course I showed you earlier on, I messed this one up, which is why I don't unlock it right now. So explode that for particularly no reason at all, just because we are badass, completely badass obviously. Uh, head out to the opposite side of the street and pick up battery number seven. Just underneath the lorry is going to be another tracker upgrade. The secret sniffer. Don't know how the police would feel about that one. Pick up the eight out of nine batteries and then just head here. What we need to do is shoot off the kill it with fire pest control ink. Just shoot off all the letters. Uh, you should have plenty of ammo anyway, as long as you are not as a mongish shot like I am apparently. <laughs> But as soon as we unlock that, we're going to get a whole bunch of achievements, as you can already tell in this level. The out of business achievement unlocks. Head on to this blue whatever the hell this is. Pick up the final battery. And this, again, as long as you've been following along with the guide, this should get you the high voltage achievement. Pick up the new paper objective, the last dance. And then all we're doing is literally, again, make sure you've got some energy drinks, your frying pan and your RPG in your inventory. If you, you should still have anyway. Press the button, we've got to kill 40 little bugs in a minute, and again you think, Jesus Christ man, but it's actually not bad, it's literally just, I think they're just cockroaches now, but an absolute load, an absolute load come out of absolutely everywhere, so you shouldn't have any troubles with this one, just keep walking around this area, and, you know, kill them, yeah, get the monster down you, headbutt them, stick your nut in them, not your literal nut of course.
Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. We are done. But we do have two very small achievements left. Bit of a cutscene with giant radioactive spiders on it. Again, Ozzy's playing this game, but just like, all oh, right, I've got literally one of them living downstairs somewhere. I don't give a crap. But all the Brits, um, probably the Americans as well, have probably just crapped their pants because, you know, we're, 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 a bun we're a bunch of pussies. <laughs> we are when it comes to creepy crawlies and bugs and crap, isn't it? Anyway, if you're not wondering why you're not going up yet, have a look up and then just walk into the beam of light and that will finish off the game. The Exterminator will return. Right, and well, what we're gonna do is actually kill a whole bunch of moths next time, because moths are even worse than spiders. Yeah. So when we get we got two tiny miserable achievements left. What we're gonna do is replay the fourth mission, Major Inconvenience. So pop that one on. We're gonna get these miserable achievements in literally no time at all as well. Um so yeah, hopefully, like I said, if you've been following the guides, you should have absolutely everything apart from these last two unlocked. You might have already got this one. So when we begin, what we're going to do is pop our little bit of C4. Pop it anywhere you want. Literally doesn't make a difference. And just put, you know, two, three, four, however many you want. I just popped three around because I've seen one. Press left or right in the D-pad. And then press the right trigger to explode. Live by the sword unlocks, and that's for killing an exploding spider with C4. So, there, will, there should always be one right in the first area. So just put, dot a couple of C4 around, press the trigger switch, and ba -ba -ba bam Now, what we need to do is go uh, into first contact, go into our upgrades, and then we need to play a mission in tiny mode as well. So, make sure you get the tiny mode upgrade sorted and on. And uh, what I do is actually just refund all the points and put it into cargo pants, which is basically unlimited ammo. And there's a reason we're going to be doing this right now. So for some reason, I put gel insoles on, even though we are basically the same size as Hasbulla right now. Very, very small. Uh, no offense, you probably kicked my ass. So here we go. We are Hasbulla size. Very small, very tiny. What we're going to do is just whap out the RPG and we're just going to destroy absolutely everything. Obviously, we don't care about objectives. All we need to do is kill enough spiders to get to the exit. So, slam, slam, slam. Have a look in the um, tracker cupboard. Have a look in the bathroom as well. Uh, just keep destroying absolutely everything. <laughs> Literally, all we're doing is completing one mission in tiny mode. But there we go. We've got enough now to kill. And there we go then. So, that will get us the final achievement of the game for completing a mission in tiny mode. Eventually, it's going to pop up. And there it is then. L Lilliputian Commando. So, that's it then, guys and gals. There we have it. What a, <laughs> an absolutely fun and very satisfying game as well. But that's it. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the game. You should now have 24 out of 24 achievements. I really do hope the guide helped as well. If it did, don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Don't forget to check me out on my socials. Facebook, Insta, um... Uh, la, 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 Twitter, that's mad Twitter and Patreon as well Big shout out to everyone on Patreon who continues to support the channel You guys and gals are legends And for those that continue to just interact with me on the daily as well Thank you so so much Well, with that one then Well, I guess I'll say my goodbyes See you in the next one Big love